Hello, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vikas Nera. In today's video, we'll discuss AI automation. If I tell you that you can automatically publish so optimized articles and AI generated images on your WordPress blog without any writing or design using our free API. In this video, we'll discuss how you can automate this entire process using the AI workflow. Generating topics, writing content, creating images, and then publishing them on WordPress will do it all automatically. If you're an affiliate marketer, content creator, or blogger, this video will be life changing for you. Because the images I use in this video are also generated for free. I won't use any paid APIs. Additionally, I'm using the AI model you're using. In this video, we'll use Google Gemini's free API. We won't use any ChatGPT paid APIs, etc. So we'll do everything for free. So, what do you have to do first? You can find the file for this workflow on my Telegram and WhatsApp channels. You'll find links to both in the description. You can download it from there. Okay. How you install N8N? I've made a video here on how to install N8N on your BPS. You can watch that video. After N8N is installed, what do you have to do? You want the same workflow here. So, what do you have to do for that? Click on the plus sign here. Click on Workflow. Then, click on Import from File. And import the JSON file here. The same workflow will appear here. OK. So I'll close it here. OK. After importing, you'll see something like this. OK. Let me give you a test run first. And then we'll move to the next one. OK. So, for example, I'll refresh it on my WordPress site. And for now, this is just one blog. OK. So, I'll click on Execute Workflow here. Look, my workflow is running here. After completing all this, it will send me a message on Telegram saying that your post has been generated and will also send me its URL on Telegram. I'll show you this. Look, the post has been published and the article link has appeared here. OK, and I'll refresh it here and show it to you. So, it automatically created a blog post here. I'll show you a preview of it. This one has gone into drafts. You can also have it published by default. You can also select Publish as your status here. This will automatically publish your article. Here, it has generated an image and a title. Then, below, it has written substantial content. OK, so you can have such articles automatically generated from here. OK, now let's figure out what you'll need here. First, you need to add the Google API here. OK, so for example, I'm adding it here. So what you need to do is, when you do it for the first time, you'll see something like this. So what do you need to do? Go to Google AI Studio and generate the API key there. OK. What do you need to do once you're here? Click on the dashboard API key. I already have an API key generated here. So, what do I do? Click on Create a new API key here. You can name it anything. OK. And then click on Create a Project. Name the project anything. I named it anything. I clicked Create a Project. Select that project here. Then click on Create a Key. 
OT. The one that will be created now, when you copy the API key, you need to put it here. OK, and click Save. So, this is the connection that was successfully made. OK, that's how you should do it. So, I'll select the first one. I already have two here. OK. And for the model here, you need to select this one. OK, first you need to connect this one. Second, you need to connect your WordPress site credentials here. I already have mine here. What do you need to do? Click on Create a new credential. Here, you'll enter the WordPress URL. Just the website URL, for example, if I enter mine, I'll need only this much. Then, enter your username and password. After that, click Save. It will connect. If the username doesn't work with the password, go to Users and generate an app password for your admin user by entering their username there. Then, it will connect using the app password. If your main password isn't working, you can use the app password. OK. I'll close this. OK, these are the two things you need. If you want to send a message on Telegram, it's a longer process, but you can do that too. It's not necessary. It's just updating you that your post has been submitted. You can also delete it from here. So, just after uploading this photo, your campaign will start. OK? Otherwise, if you want to do this, I'll come here and click on Create a new credential. When you open the documentation here, it will tell you exactly how to generate a token. So, this is where you need to go. You need to go to the bot father. This is a bot from Telegram. When you come here and select the first one new bot, it will ask you for its name. And then you get a T. You get a token. You need to enter that access token here and click save. After doing that, you need to enter your chat ID here and click Save. So, everything will be done here. Then your account will be created here. All the chats on that account will continue to appear here. Okay, so this is how this workflow works. Okay, so now your content will be automatically written here through this API. For the image, what we've done here is that there's a site where you can generate free AI images. I'll show you how. Here's the JavaScript code. What it does is it automatically generates the image, which is then downloaded and uploaded to WordPress. It provides it for free. So, we don't need an API here. Simply write a prompt before this URL, and that prompt is executed, and then the image is generated. You can also go to such a URL and type a cat or anything else, or I can type a dog or a dog. Similarly, if you generate an Indian man, it will generate that as well. Just its prose, right? Lot. Man versus Indian man versus cat. Okay, so you can get it generated like this.
so this JavaScript code automatically writes the prompt before it. And it downloads the image from the URL of the image it received. And then uploads the image to your WordPress. So it gets attached to your post here. Okay, so you can get unlimited posts generated from it for free through your N8N N workflow. Now let's move on to where you can get articles generated in your category. The first one, I, the prompt written here, I have added categories here related to artificial intelligence, AI agents, automation, and workflow. It will automatically generate articles one by one from here. You can enter your own category here. Whatever your finance category is, or any other niche, you can enter those categories here. It finds topics related to that category and generates blogs on those topics. Or if you have a specific topic, you can write the topic here. It will then return blogs on that topic. For example, if I typed how to install Power NTA, it will write on that topic. Okay. And you can change the prompts here to your liking. What the second one does is take the title, category, and keywords from the first one and create an engaging blog article based on them. Okay, so you can use it this way. And when I execute this workflow, it's executing. If you want to automate this, what do you need to do? Come here and click on Add. You have to find the schedule here. You have to select Schedule at Trigger. Here, instead of day, you can also select minute. But you can also select hour, or you can also select second. For example, I have selected minute here. Here I have written 5 minutes, or 10 minutes, or 20 minutes here. For example, I write 5 minutes here. And what do I do after that? I delete this workflow. I do attach it. And I attach this one here to it. So, after activating this, I will save, and after saving, I will activate it. What will happen is that every 5 minutes, every new post will be generated and published here. In this, whatever time you set here every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or 20 minutes, your post will be generated after that time. And every new post will be generated, and that too, for free. Because we're using Gemini's API. We're also using our images for free. So, it won't cost you a dime. If you're testing it, remove the scheduler and just attach this one. Okay, so this is how you can create its workflow. And you can ask for its file on your Twitter channel, WhatsApp channel, or personal chat. you find it there. And I've already made a video on how to install N8N. You can watch it. If you have any other questions, please comment. And thanks for watching.